Hello, I'm Jeffrey Brown. Uh, I'm speaking to you from Bermuda, and I'm in the president of the Bermuda Conference of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. Very recently, we attended an Atlantic Union uh, pastor teacher convention, the first of its kind, where pastors and teachers from our six conferences came together for strengthening each other and it was an integrated conference, not a separated conference, where pastors listened and learned from teachers and teachers listened and learned from pastors. One of the seminars that I was asked to do was on the subject of Christian education in the form of a Bible study. The concept was that individuals who become Seventh-day Adventists learn some tremendous things. They learn about health. They learn how the Seventh-day Adventist health message can enrich their lives in a marvelous way. They learn about Christian finance or stewardship, tithing, etc., how that can revolutionize their life. They learn about family life and Christian family life principles, but uh, one of the things that they get to learn about, usually after they become Seventh-day Adventists, is Christian education. They hear things like, well, Christian education doesn't um, cost, it, it pays, but all they see is that they've been asked on a weekly basis to give some money to Christian education. What is so peculiar, special, different, enriching about Christian education? And if it is so good, isn't this something that ought to be shared with our prospective church members before they become Seventh-day Adventists? In other words, during the period of Bible studies. So when you do a Bible study that says your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, or when you do a Bible study that says, um, uh, will a man rob God, you have robbed me in tithe and offering, what about doing a Bible study that has Bible texts like, All thy children shall be taught of the Lord. And so, with Dr. Jarrell Gilkerson from the Atlantic Union, we said, let us try to come up with a Bible study that can be given to individuals who are preparing to be Seventh-day Adventists. And by the grace of God, that's what I'd like to share with you right now.